Rated M for Mature. Gamers are gamers. It doesn't matter where you come from. Shooting mutants in the face with a gun is great. There was a big, uh, big name in the arcades uh, in the in the 90s. I must admit, went up to the Trocadero with a big bag full of money and just pumped coins into it until we found out all the really cool bits. The things I liked about the previous ones were the character designs, and I loved the fact that each of their characters had like a name to it. They weren't losing track of what they were trying to be about. They were about shooting, and they, they varied up the shooting, what you were shooting, how they basically kept the player constantly engaged. People love shooting zombies. There's, there's nothing wrong with uh, jibbing, exploding a zombie, you know, because he's trying to eat your brains out. On the one hand, you, you don't want to offend the, the fans of the series who come to it expecting a certain traditions. And at the same time, you want to be able to take it onto the next stage. You want to say, OK, we're, we're giving a, a fresh feel to this, a, a, a new look and a different experience that's also going to sort of update it and attract new fans in as well. Once we decided to go down the whole grindhouse 70s B-movie exploitation feel, What's up, motherfucker? They met as adversary. A monster made them allies. <laughs> it just felt right. So we just wanted to do a kind of different spin on it, making it a bit more contemporary and interesting, and uh, just kind of give it a cultural hook. And as soon as we came up with the pulp funk horror concept, as we call it, it just everything just fell into place. The types of monsters we should do, the kind of bosses, the environment the storyline, the music, it all kind of stemmed from that one idea. The real fans, I hope, are going to uh, see that we've done something new with the franchise, but we haven't betrayed it. The sort of stuff they were enjoying previously, but being a bit hammy and a bit English, a bit sort of Japanese comes to the West and get, something gets lost in translation. Now we've made it a bit more self-conscious. It's silly and over the top, but very knowingly so, and, and fun for it. To work on something essentially so famous, people are going to be saying House of the Dead, and it's got our name across it, House of the Dead, Overkill, Headstrong Games, little rider at the bottom. We are damn awesome.